10 wickets in the match for Imran Khan in the Headingley Test of 1987, a victory for Pakistan by an innings and 18 runs in the most conclusive fashion possible, and their first win on that ground. Imran, in the course of the match, took his 300th Test match wicket. What a cricketer. Well, what a movement and a shout, and he's out. And certainly that nicked back quite a bit. Tim Robinson gets caught on the back foot. not coming back into him like he expected but again just had a little bit of bounce that certainly carried well to the keeper so that's Imran's second strike of the morning and that's gone inside edge played on 31 for 5 There's a shout there and he's being given out. Didn't look very happy with that, didn't Chris Broad? And he's gone. Trying to leave the ball taken by Salim Malik at first slip. England in trouble again. Nine for two. Imran to Athi. Bold, beautifully bold. It's that one that darts back so sharply from outside the off stump. Oh, David Gower dragging that back on. Short of a length, just outside off stump. Inside edge, back into the stumps. The first innings, he was letting it go on the edge and went down onto the wicket. So that's twice in the match. A little bit unlucky there for David Gower. A very attacking field. Imran into Jack Richards. Oh, that's out, that's a fine catch. Imran swinging the ball in, just make it bounce a little, going off the shoulder of the bat, pretty quick to each has it short leg there, and a very good catch. Imran Khan takes his 300th test wicket. Joins a very exclusive band of players. Shout and uh, David Capel being given out there, caught by Ejaz at short leg. Could have been a little nick onto the pad that. It didn't go anywhere near as quick as the one he caught there from Jack Richards. Here's Imran to Dilly. <laughs> well, that's it. Imran bowling Graham Dilly with a full length delivery there and seven wickets in innings for Imran Khan. At Lord's in 1988, Gus Logie made 81 and 95, and Gordon Greenwich 103, 